exactly 12 minutes past one time for us to move over to the banks of the river Wuri in Douala, Cameroon's economic capital where our reporter Ifana Kuala has been sojourning the city and of course the entire West African region to pick up news for us this week. Ifana, good afternoon there and welcome to African Cocktail. Good afternoon, Ernest and listeners of African Cocktail. Welcome to Central African Subregion and precisely in Cameroon. I am in the city of Douala at the banks of the famous River Wuri, where it has been a very, very rainy day. It's a wet, wet day in Douala, yet a very beautiful day. And as in Cameroon, the economic capital Douala is something like 302 kilometers, which is 187.6. 5-4 miles away from the sea. Fufu is a small locality in the outskirts of Yaoundé and is situated 66 kilometers, which is 41 miles from the, the country's, the country's political capital. And it is in Fufu that one of the most disturbing incidents, which will surely last long on the mind of indomitable lion's defender Nicolas Fukulu, happened. The national team player's father was found dead in his car that had been that had gone in flames last week. The cause of the incident is not yet known, but there are speculations that part of the Olympic of Missouri player might have been a victim of Cameroon's Christmas performance at the just ended World Cup that took place in Brazil. It is not yet clear if that could have been the motive for Kulu's father's death, but some citizens have vehemently criticized certain acts which may badly cloud the image of the country. People are saying People, people are saying that it is not what if for a father of a player whose side failed to deliver to be killed in such an undignified manner. Even if football were to make Cameroon into a paradise. They say it is simply barbaric and that the culprit, whenever they are known, should not go unpunished. Investigations to determine the cause of this incident are going on and the people are anxiously waiting for the result. Whatever the reason might be, it is tragic and we hope such an incident does not happen again, especially in the land known for its enviable peace. And as food is money. Hmm, Cameroon and its enviable peace would definitely not let doors open for such uh, unruly behaviors, if and uh, and we hope that uh, such uh, incidents will not occur again. Quite a gloomy one there, but all has not been cloudy out there, and I understand. Uh, there is some good news eh, within the Actors Guild of Cameroon who uh, have had uh, another opportunity to add uh, to what they already know, uh, if and So, what is happening uh, within the Actors Guild of Cameroon? Yes, and uh, some observers are now saying that in very equivocal terms that Cameroon needs to start dismissing the habit of paying more attention to football at the expense of other sectors that have talented people. The movie sector has been cited repeatedly for being a fertile area in this current wave of talk. For quite some time now, there has been an immeasurable interest in movie making and acting displayed by all Cameroonians. Yet, you may like to know that scores of Cameroonians have flown in to swell the country's film industry within the last decade. They said, especially in quantity. Movies are being thrown into the market on a regular basis with more and more people willing to get on board and showcase their actor skills. Despite this progress made in industry and the zeal to perform, actors still think they need to improve on their acts to meet higher standards, especially in the present context of stiff competition. This improvement cannot come in any other way except through training. Fortunately, they have acknowledged this. It is therefore to make we are work more competitive and appealing that movie actors under the banner of the National Actors Guild of Cameroon, that goes by the acronym NACAM, recently committed themselves and satisfactorily attended a workshop that took place in Boya, regional headquarters of the Southwest region of Cameroon. Organized in collaboration with Trains Movies, a Nigerian film production house, participants were recited in cooling but furnished with knowledge to related areas which facilitators insisted went hand in glove with their acts. Such disciplines included camera operation, directing and producing. Participants of the three-day workshop left satisfied with the knowledge acquired and which for more of such training. 
The hotel resident Carlos Actors Workshop was facilitated by Nollywood Prince Onye Boni and Jean Pierre Lambert de Paris and Boyate scriptwriter and was chaired by the Southwest Regional Delegate of Culture. The Boya training comes after a few other trainings the Cameroonian film industry has organized so far, including one that took place at the American Embassy in Cameroon in 2012 and co-organized by the U.S.-based actress and writer Sandra von Lucy and Tenjo Baba of Tenjo Entertainment. The German Cultural Center, otherwise called the Goa Institute in Yaoundé, is also known to have supported many film training initiatives in Cameroon. Hmm. And as we can now say in Cameroon, the movie is moving. Hmm, definitely the movie is moving if and and uh, we learned that um, the actors workshop had facilitators who believed in learning by doing and also doing after learning reason why they proceeded or they proceeded to a post workshop auditioning for a new movie from classroom to location hmm, that's a nice one then yes that's nice one exactly from classroom to location as you said Soon after the rounded of the training, the 40 or so participating actors were introduced to a new movie project, audition, auditioning for roles was done. Filming of the movie, whose title we have gathered as fingerprints, will begin soon on location. We are going to confirm in subsequent correspondences. The movie, the movie, the African cocktail has been told with future a Cameroonian mixed cast. Such mixed cast productions have been common in Cameroon with Movies such as Siri, A Contest is Offering, Before the Sunrise, The Blues Kingdom, Land of Shadows, all produced by Agbo Gilbert Ebot, recorded by, decoded, directed by Akin Makoli, Blood of Wine, directed by Neva Lawrence, and several others. Hmm. So, I will also add uh, Neva Lawrence's uh, Royal Exodus. Not Royal Exodus, but I think Royal Destiny. Eh? <laughs> okay. Uh, that film is produced by Aisha Inua, starring Nollywood's um, Emeka Ike Tonto uh, Joyce Kalu, and of course, Cameroon's uh, Solange Shijika and Muma Pascal. Uh, if and I, I would suspect that um, actors at the Boya workshop were also enjoined to be creative and as creative uh, as the frontline Cameroonian rapper Stanley Eno, who's, uh, or whom we hear uh, has sprung again with another gigantic one. Hmm, this time he calls it Jama Jama Kao. Am I right? Yeah, Iyo Kao, Jama Jama Kao, Yama Miko from Downbury for Sita Bele Kao. I'm sure you should know that. Hmm. And this was a song on every child lives in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, especially in English speaking Cameroon. Mm. As creative as he is, as you said, Stanley Eno has dropped into the archive and brought it back to rekindle sweet old memories of that epoch that this song has surely, and this song has surely been knitted into contemporary rap young to suit the taste of today's music lovers, yet sticking the minds of the old. That is what is to be found in the rapper's next single, which is already being announced and awaited with such appetite, not just in Cameroon, but in the entire Central African sub region. Reactions have been streaming with many people out there saluting the creativity of 2014 MCD Best Act Singer. It should be noted that Stanley's current single, To Move To Move Boss Calabar, is also another regurgitating of an old time infant team. We shall come back with details of Njama Njama Kao probably in the next week's contribution on this end. And it is with Stanley Owners Njama Njama Kao frenzy that we round up today's contribution from Central Africa and precisely Duala. And as in this snack of the show, for me, Cynthia Kwala Ifana and all of Duala, we say see you next week and au revoir et bonne journée. Hmm. <sighs> a beautiful one day, Ifana. Thank you so much for that uh, sumptuous and handsome package from the Central African sub-region. And uh, we hear in Jaman Jamakao <laughs> is uh, going to be another great hit. Ifana, I just want to say au revoir et bon journée. Have a fantastic Wednesday out there in uh, Douala. And of course, we hope to have you again next week.